VS Code's tree indent guides can help you more clearly understand how elements are nested inside of tree views. Now, the place you're probably going to see these most often is over in the Explorer. So if I go over to the Explorer here and I start hovering over things, you can see that I have these lines that have appeared. These are the tree indent guides, and they're showing me what level everything is at here. So for this folder, for example, I get this line going down here. For this current test folder, I get a line going down here. So they can just help you understand at a glance a little bit how, of how all of these files and folders are being nested together. However, tree indent guides also show up in other tree views. So for example, in the outline view here, you can see that I have these tree indent guides as well. Now we can use a setting to actually control and configure some aspects of these tree indent guides and when they show up. So I'm gonna open up my settings with control comma or command comma on Mac and say tree indent guides. And I want the workbench tree render indent guide setting here. Now you can see that again, the default behavior is on hover. So whenever I go and hover over something, the tree indent guides appear. When I move my mouse away, then the tree indent guides are hidden. Now, if we wanted to, we could just disable the tree indent guides entirely. So with none, the tree indent guides will never show up, no matter how if I'm hovering over them or not. Now, we could also make them always show up so that they're always visible. So if I set this to always here, you can see that the tree indent guides are always going to be rendered. You might prefer having that if you find the tree indent guides useful. But personally, I like the hover setting because it means that the tree indent guides are visible when you need them. But if you're not hovering over anything, they're not cluttering things up. So that's a quick look at VS Code's tree indent guides and the render tree indent guide setting.